So a few weeks ago, I installed a new speedometer cable on my 1995 Miata in hopes that it would fix the speedometer. And it just ended up doing the same problem it, uh, it had before I replaced it. So I was told to get a new gauge cluster, which is very hard to find for these cars because you have to find one that has similar mileage. So this one stopped working at 131,000, which was probably like a couple months ago. And this one has 136,000, so probably just a little bit more than what's actually on the car. But this was as close as I could get, and this was on eBay for like 90 bucks, so not too bad. So today we're going to install the new one, and hopefully it'll finally fix my speedometer and I'll have a working speedometer and odometer again. So first thing we need to do is remove this shroud around the instrument cluster. Uh, mine is in about four different pieces, so it's duct taped so it stays in place, which means it's hideous, but it's also incredibly easy to remove. So yours is probably going to be more difficult than this. I know there's a special way you have to do it, and I fortunately don't have to deal with that. Next, we have to remove this plastic piece around the steering wheel to make it easier to get the gauge cluster out. And to do that, there's two little Phillips head on each side. I take that back. There's actually two Phillips head on the driver's side and one on the passenger side. So now we have four more Phillips heads, two up here and then two on the bottom. You might need a shorter screwdriver to get to the ones on the bottom, but this longer one seems to be working well enough for me. So now this should come out a little bit. Now we have some connectors to deal with. Four connections. One is a speedometer cable, which is already unplugged. Second one is right up here. Third one is right here. And the fourth one is right here. So now we're gonna disconnect all of those. I'm pretty sure they're on reverse sides. Got it. The new one doesn't have the chrome around it, which I don't like. It looks really bland. But besides that, they're pretty much identical. This one is right in here. I'm gonna plug the speedometer cable in next. Pretty sure it's on there. Now the two top ones, which are kind of at a hard angle, but once you get it in there, it just pushes straight in. So now I'm just gonna screw these back in and then make sure it works before I put everything back together because if it doesn't work, I'm gonna be really mad. Start it up. Everything works, fuel gauge is slowly going down because I'm really at like a quarter of a tank so it's kind of funny to watch. But besides that, it's all working. So I guess we'll uh, put it all back together because I'll take like another five minutes and then go for a drive and hope that the speedometer actually works like it should. So the car is all back together, so we're gonna go for a test drive and hope everything's good. So it says that my e-brake is on. I think it just gets stuck every now and then for a little bit, but it's driving completely fine, so. Not the end of the world either way, but. Everything is working exactly how it should be. It's not wiggling or wobbling or anything. It's, it's perfect. Finally, this problem is fixed. Needless to say, I think the problem is finally solved. So I'm gonna go enjoy the car a bit. Hopefully this video helps some of you out in some way, shape or form. But with that being said, that's it for today. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.